We're hanging out at Iola Car Show, and it has quite the backstory. You heard it, we're back on my home turf, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Well, close to, at the Iola Car Show. Let's see what we can find. Okay, here we go, down a flight of stairs, and as you know, rickety stairs kind of falls into my fear of heights and uh, falling too. Okay, first up on my interview list, Don Gartlitz, and boy, was I nervous. Look at this. Big Daddy Don Gartlitz is NHRA Racing Royalty. In fact, I've always been a person that liked to think out of the box. Well, when I got started, it, was, it wasn't anything like it is today. Okay, got that done. Back in the cart, off to the next one. Next up is Mockingbird Lane, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. Do, 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 do. And the first hot rods on TV in a sitcom. Um, then George Barrison was down the street from Universal Studios and they contacted him about making a car for the Munster family. And he created the Munster coach in three weeks. A few uh, weeks later, they also created the Dragula during an uh, episode of Hot Rod Herman where Grandpa built the car to win the Munster Coach, which was lost at a drag race uh, at the Classic Lions Dragway out in California. So, And, of course, George Barris built the original Munster Coach, which is now in a museum in Florida. Our company did a tour of Barris Custom Shop a couple weeks back. I will link that below. Okay, this is the Dragula. It's a 400 small block Chevy, 400 horse. Paul's butt because it doesn't weigh anything. Even though the coach has got 500 horse, this is a lot faster, and we do drag race recreations of Hot Rod Herman, and I always drive this. I'll fire it up to give you an idea of how loud it is. Another neat thing about George Barris and this car, the Dragula, it's actually made out of a real casket, and I have the link on that below as well. Yeah, and then this happened. Um, I went through an Amphicar phase where I really want one, wanted one, and you know, I still kind of do, so if anybody's got any leads on where I can get an Amphicar, because uh, is it a boat, is it a car? Mm, who knows, but I want hey, one. Hey cruisers, we've got our life jackets on and we are ready to talk about this 1967 Amphicar. I have Daryl Tressler here and uh, give me the lowdown. It's a 67 okay. Amphicar. I've had it for about 30 years. I use it almost every weekend in the water in the summertime. It's a lot of fun. Great. They were made over in Germany and there's a lot of people lived on one side of a big river and worked on the other side and they wanted a, a vehicle where they didn't have to drive 40 miles around to go to work and they could just drive right across. Right. Mostly when you go in the boat landing or come out, everybody's what was that? That's great. It's, it's fun. And I give I give everybody a ride in it when I'm on the river or lake the once one. All right, back in the car, this time to actually check out some of the show. So lots of great muscle here on display and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a preview. We'll have more of a preview a little bit later in the video, but just because this is a car show, I might as well show uh, some more cars. So here is some more cars. Uh, you know, I didn't really have to think of any excuses here. This Camaro is the first ever Camaro built at the Norwood, Ohio plant in 1966. It was the first of a series of pilot prototypes built to test and develop new production techniques for the new creation. Yeah, this car is uh, N10001. It's the very first Camaro prototype out of the 49 hand-built cars that were built before assembly, uh, before the assembly line even started. So this car was a, uh, this car was hand-built or assembled um, over and over and over again in May of 1966. Wow. So. Okay. And we'll have more with these guys in a different video, but pretty There's stinking no, cool, no, huh? Ever. And to wrap out our day, we did a quick shoot with a Model A. Hey, cruisers, we're hanging out with Matt Bressa from Appleton. Now, you've got a really nice Model A 1929. Tell us a little bit about it. 29 standard coupe. Um, have had it for about a year now. Um, I had to have it. So, put about 2,000 miles on it last year. Probably about, put about 2,000 on it this year. I drive it a lot, regular everyday car. That's great. So, I mean, what kind of engine does it have? Just a little flat four cylinder. Very basic, very basic. Um, I just, 
They're so easy to work on. You know, anybody can work on one of these. Mm -hmm. It's neat. This car has, was kind of a pivotal point for Ford. You know, they had a lot of feature updates. Well, you know, from the Model T, you know, that kind of was getting outdated. And the Model A came out with a standard, regular uh, shifter, I guess, as you would say. Um, definitely a little bit more road-worthy than the Model T. I cruise this one at about 40 miles an hour, 45. That's about all she's comfortable at. Okay, and here's our team gathering some B-roll for our production, just kind of filming right here, getting all the shots that we need. And here's our team gathering shots, B-roll for our production. And because I feel like we haven't had a chance to really dive into the show as far as cars, uh, here's some additional muscle cars that we put together in a quick little montage. Wisconsin show. I love anything that has to do with my home area. You know, obviously Green Bay is my hometown, but my home state, Wisconsin. Anyways, guys, I'm Kendra Summer, and I'll see you on the next one. Later, cruisers.